Hey everybody, today I'm going to unbox my Evercade EXP LE, which I ordered from Funstock back on June 1st of 2022, which cost me a little over $250 US, including the shipping. It was originally supposed to arrive near the end of 2022, but due to a mass theft, it just got here last week. The box itself is shrink wrapped, but my box did have small damage on the corner. Also, my shipping box was half soaked. The post office said it had been left in the rain at some point. Thankfully, the inside was fine, but I'm curious if this happened to anybody else. According to my trusty GoBots ruler, the box measures nine and a half by six by six inches approximately. The outer slip case has a seal quality to let you know that this box was not part of the stolen batch and screenshots of the Capcom games that are built in on the back. The exposed ends show some of the cartridge library. The inner box says retro gaming on the outside and leveled up once open, which I thought was kind of neat. Inside, we see the system itself with a quick start guide placed on top. I was disappointed that the system did not have film on the screen, although the screen did look perfect. Under the system is a tray with the certificate of authenticity, two IRIM related cards, and IRIM Arcade 1, the game itself. Under that tray is an R-Type mini poster, the USB-C charging cable, and Toa Plan Arcade 1. The bottom tray has the system carrying case and a Capcom envelope, which inside has the full color manual for the games, a 20% off code for fun stock, and a Capcom mini poster. Inside the case is a cartridge-shaped keychain. Not in the box, but included was a case with not one, but two rectangular screen protectors that fit over the screen itself. The screen protectors and the Funstock discount code were both included as a way to apologize for the delay due to the stolen units. I'm not sure of the limitations of the code itself or if it expires, so if anyone knows, please let me know in the comments below. Overall, I'm happy that I finally received my package and with the extras, but I do wish that there was a protective film over the screen on the system itself. So there you go. That's me opening my Evercade EXP Limited Edition. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you next time.